Have you just received your postal vote pack? This video shows what you need to do when completing your postal vote. If you need help, please call the helpline number shown on your pack. Your postal vote is easy to complete. Just carry on watching. First of all, carefully take everything out of the envelope. You'll have received a postal voting statement with a ballot paper attached to it by means of a perforation. There may be additional loose ballot papers in your pack. An envelope marked A, an envelope marked B and an instruction leaflet. Attached ballot papers should be separated from the postal voting statement by carefully tearing along the perforation. Every ballot paper tells you how many votes you have. Complete each one, in private, following the instructions given at the top of each ballot paper. The ballot paper shown here is just an example. Depending on the type of election, your ballot papers may look different to this and might also be a different colour. Place all completed ballot papers into envelope A. Fold, if necessary, making sure that the number on the back of one of the ballot papers shows through the window of envelope A and then seal it. Read the instructions on the postal voting statement, then, using a black pen, write your date of birth in the boxes in the format day, day, month, month and your full year of birth. Then sign your name in the box, making sure you keep within the border. Turn your postal voting statement over to show the return address. Do not fold it. Put the sealed envelope A and your postal voting statement into envelope B making sure that the return address on the back of the postal voting statement shows through the window of envelope B. Seal envelope B and post without delay. Postage is free. Please note, if you've requested a postal vote, you will not be able to vote in person at the polling station at this election. If you make a mistake or lose your postal vote, you can get a replacement before 5pm on the day of the election. For help with this and any aspect of your postal vote, call the helpline number shown on your postal voting pack.